Alexander Mejia. Uh-oh. What did I do this time? Nothing. I need to play some fucking video games. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> Put it in me. Got an IV. All right. There's a vein that's really easy to find because I'm always putting video games in there. And also you got to like... You know, to I got to inject Video it. games and drugs is what I, I am saying. I got to inject it with the controller right here. Yeah, like, okay. Shh. Ah, get it. You know, there's got to be a way better way. The controls are too big to fit in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Rising is the video game we're playing today. Uh, the original Dead Rising. There's a lot of them. There's Not the original, one. original one. The remake on PC. Ba- yeah, basically. I, mean, I can't it, believe it never came to PC. What? Yeah, it was kind of surprising it never came to... I mean, it was always a game I wanted to come to PC after a while, just because it's like... At this day and age, like I am not pulling my 360 out that often. <laughs> I mean, every once, every once in a while, the 360 comes out because there's, like, a couple games that are on that only. That, I thought like, all the games that you wanted to play, like, were BC, though. Were what? Backwards compatible. Well, I also don't That's what the cool a, kids are saying. They're I saying also, BC. I also don't own an Xbox One. So. Oh. Well, yeah. okay. Like, I got a PS4, <laughs> a Wii U, and a PC, and that basically covers everything. What you mean when you work at a video game studio, they don't give you all the consoles for free? <laughs> no. Just say in Microsoft. <laughs> Uh, or Sony, or Nintendo. They don't give us anything for free. We have to pay for it all. Yeah. Uh, hi, we're Volition. We're back after a week-long break because I was very tired from doing all of our yeah. anniversary shit. Also, yeah. like, we just had a, a big meeting that was, like, on the same day. So it's like, ah, oh, let's take a break. No, 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 wait a second. Uh-huh. Nine hours of Saints Row content. Yeah. Plus all the work that goes into making that, which is a lot. Yeah. Plus, you went through and just decided to go stream for 24 hours the day after on Saturday. Yeah, I did that. That, yeah. that was an unfortunately unfortunate. It was life. unfortunate that you only raised, what was it, 28K? Uh, we're a little over 28,000 now. All right, just in case you didn't so. know, he did <laughs> Extra Life the day after on Saturday. Yeah. And raised $28,000 for the what hospital? Uh, Hurley Children's Hospital. Yeah. In Flint, Michigan. Con- which, congrats, man. If you didn't know, Flint, Michigan got real fucked up and it's still <laughs> fucked up because uh, they got lead in their fucking water. Yeah. So. We helped. Yeah. So that was yeah. pretty great. And then how many days did you just, just like, just go? Because you uh, were video gamed out. So. That's a lot of video games. That, it is a shitload of video games. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, the day after and the day after that, like, both those days I was super zonked out. And then, like, all last week, you know, I was here working. I was like, oh, good. I have a break. Don't have to do a stream at work at least so I can relax a little more. Wait a second. I had to put fucking video games in your arm. How long have you been going without playing video games for? Uh, I have barely touched any games for more than, like, half an hour max, like, since that stream. All right. Let's let's get, in, yeah. let's get into this. Let's then. get into this. <laughs> uh... Dead Rising. This is probably my favorite of all the Dead Risings, just because... I don't know, this one has a specific tone and mood that is... I mean, it's it's pretty similar in the other games, too, but I think this one just works the best for me, because it's like... It doesn't take too long to play, and it's more about replaying it and getting really good at it. Yes. Which is a, a type of game I am into. Ooh, ooh, that's a little rough looking. <laughs> <laughs> so this game came out 10 years ago. This game came out basically 10 years ago for the Xbox almost, 360. Almost 10 years ago. Almost 10 years ago. Uh, and it just came out this previous Tuesday on Steam. Uh, it's also on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I believe. It's like... Oh, 20, yeah, okay, it, cool. So it's not just a PC thing. Oh, right. And they're just like, oh, yeah, they you put want it, Xbox? Play it backwards compatible. Yeah, they put it up on the consoles, too. Uh, and they didn't really change anything about the game. It just runs It just runs at a higher resolution. It has more anti-aliasing. The shadows are better. That's about it. Um, but it runs... The, the port is really good. That's probably just because the engine Capcom made for all their games the previous generation was just very... PC friendly because I gotcha. I think their games were basically just built natively for PC first. Yeah, um, that was actually something that we kind of learned. So uh, I was doing a little bit of follow up work last week uh, for the Saints Row 10, 10th anniversary, and yeah. people were pulling up footage that I had never seen. <laughs> yeah, jeez, like you know, because it was before I came here, you know. So go figure. Mm-hmm. But it was footage of Saints Row running, and they're like, look at these shadows, and look at this world, and look at this area that was the E3 demo. Yeah. And I basically learned that, uh, yeah, like, in 2005, most games were running 
not on consoles because the consoles didn't actually exist. The hardware didn't exist yet. R right. So, like, they're running them on, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, Writer of Blocks is asking, why does he run like a gorilla? I, you His know? His arms out all crazy. It would have been funny if he said, he arms out all crazy. He arms out all crazy. <laughs> he's always holding this camera, and he's just always... Frank West is a really... I love Frank West's protagonist because, one, he's an asshole in this game, but also he's just fucking... Awful to look at. Yeah, well, you gotta not, get that cutscene. Not like, oh no, his like his model's bad, but just like, man, he's not. He has like this weird fucking goblin nose. He's always hunched over, running around, like all weird, like he's somebody's like gross uncle. He's like a really stocky dude. Like he's not the normal game protagonist like build where it's like he's muscular, but you know. <laughs> Whereas this dude like. Looks like he's packing away some some food for winter or something. Len Lenox76 says he legs out on occasion. <laughs> I think he's talking about this guy's calves. They're pretty big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, however, it uh, sounds like somebody might be upset saying that Chuck is better than Frank. You know, I like Chuck, too. Um, is it okay to like both people? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't have an issue. Oh, oh, geez, you got, like... I got the, the quick time. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I want to do with the lawnmower. <laughs> is it faster to do that? The, no. Yeah, there you go. Just jump around. It is, it is not. The actually mowing over them is the better. No, choice. no, with the stick flick. Oh, like the put the other hand on there. That's, this is because. So here's the thing. I a bone that I have to pick with a lot of games. If they ever have uh, like escape out of a grab, like. QTE style thing. Mm -hmm. It's almost always wiggle the left stick, and it's never like spin it. Don't spin it in a circle really fast. It's always left and right, and I cannot do that very fast. With my thumbs, so I always have to do this. I always have to palm it. Okay, well, I, I guess it. very fast for you is like subhuman speeds. It's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Like I just hate doing left and right waggle on left on the stick. Yeah, the man he's saying that's how Chip S ranks everything. It's yeah. true. I agree. Damn it. Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. <laughs> All right, I'm coming to you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? <laughs> His animations. Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. I love the cutscenes of this game so much. Yeah. This is like one of the like less goofy ones too, and it's still pretty It's still goofy. pretty goofy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, GTA Killer asking, has anyone played the Wii version of Dead Rising? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> drop there, till you chop? Uh, chop yeah. till you drop? Chop is that till what they you call drop. It? That's the subtitle added. It's a port of this game to the Wii, but because the Wii's, you know, a lot less powerful than the 360 and PS uh, the 360 was yeah they uh, my plank get dropped yeah, it did. Uh, they uh, they had to like significantly reduce the amount of zombies that could be on screen and also they like ported it to the Resident Evil 4 Wii engine so like all the Resident Evil 4 like style gun aiming and like waggle stuff was in there like it had the exact same UI graphics too they just copied it from the Resident Evil 4 port it's not very good uh oh, there's some people here feeling Chip playing the Wii game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Wii game's not. Oh shit. So this game's like. Oh, there's pretty... like humans like shooting at you. I know. Oh, where wow, the... that was a lot of health. The sword is faster than the gun. Maybe not. Fuck. <laughs> you should have right, I... shot him. Ah, uh, damn it. So guns aren't great to use. Uh, it's okay. I got this drink. Doink, 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 doink. <laughs> uh, so something kind of interesting about this game is like the controls are kind of clunky, right? Like when you attack with a sword, you have to follow through with the entire animation. You can't get out of it, and that dude can just like sit there and just Yo, shoot where you is in the he, face a shitload. He he runs off to another. Okay. Oh, he actually jumped down. Oh wait, no, that's Brad. Okay, Chad's talk. Or, or sorry, T Tamberlane's talking about the twenty foot rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty foot rule. <laughs> 20 foot roll apparently does not apply in this game. Yeah. Because you got fucked up. I gotta, I gotta listen to Otis. This is one of the awkward things about this game is like, you have this dude who calls you on the walkie talkie. Mm -hmm. It's just text only. 
he like notifies you of other side quests that are happening, but like when you're listening to him, like if you like go to attack or you get shot or something, like you'll hang up on him and he'll call back and he's like, Don't hang up on me and then he starts all the way from the beginning again. That's funny. And so like if it doesn't get all the way through the end, like the side quest doesn't start and like oh boy. Um You can't shoot him from this far away? I can, but the issue is is that the shooting is not ergonomic in this game. It's like you just stand still and slowly like floaty aim everywhere. And like his accuracy is a lot better than yours is. Well yeah, he's got a pro ninety, that's why. Yeah, he's got a pro ninety. That's a that's a counter strike thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, stop. Yeah, your your sword is no match for the foot. Yeah. Oh my god, he's like stun locking me there. Holy shit! I need him like two more times. There you go. Two Boom. more times! <laughs> Also, the katana does, like, way more damage than that pistol does that you're given. Like, you get 30 shots, and that's it with the gun. Uh, and, like, if you shoot him in the head, it's, like, a 20th of his health. Great Big Burger. He got away. Who was that, anyway? I don't know. <laughs> Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right so now, yeah, if you've never played this he game... He apparently doesn't shake hands either. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, he's a fucking dick in this yeah. game. It's great. Thanks, uh, dick. Yeah, if you've never played Dead Rising, it's basically... Oh no, there's zombies in this town, but nobody knows about it yet. It's just getting sealed off by the National Guard, and Frank West is a badass photojournalist who jumps into this mall via a helicopter. <laughs> and he's like, just pick me up in three days, I'll be fine. Yeah, he will be fine. And then you just start slicing <laughs> zombies in half with katanas, and there's like DA agents here... You guys are looking for someone here. ...that you're like constantly an asshole to until it's like, fine, we need to work together. I have a digital camera. It's 2006. <laughs> you know, right? Well, right. Well, well, this game's being made like 2005. I mean, how long was the yeah. development cycle on this? I don't actually know. I don't know when they first started development on this game. They had to have been working on this game for at least two years. Because, yeah. uh, like, especially with the new console, and it's like you don't know exactly what it's going to be. Damn. Yeah. There's like an extra couple months tacked on the end there where you're just like, okay, now how do we make this run on the console? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we think. They, you know, they, they probably prototyped it on, like, PC or something. Because you said their engine was highly portable. They were making yeah. their engine portable, knowing they were going to have to support multiple systems. Yep. At least three, if not four. Mm -hmm. yes. and, then, and then, you know, scale everything to make it fit on there. Yeah, I believe the, their engine they used for the previous generation was called MT Framework or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, all their internally developed games ran on that. And That's it was just, it's just an engine that, like, runs super well, even on, like really old hardware. Jesse and I are DHS agents. Well, that's the thing. I bet this game probably runs really good, too. Like, even on, like, the worst of video cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like, it probably wasn't that as well optimized for 360. They just had to make it run, right? Yeah. I like, mean, it ran pretty decently in 360, though. I, I... But what I'm saying is, like, in terms of, like, I'm curious if they if they had redone the game engine, they could maybe oh, hit 60 yeah. frames per second on the You're same sure. hardware. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I don't think they really ever hit 60 with any of their other, even their later so games. They always to opted to be around like 30-ish. Well, they just filled up, right? You fill up yeah. the graphics. You know, fill up as much as you can to, to get 30. <laughs> GTA Killer. I remember playing this game for the first time, not having HDTV. Yeah. And it was so fun trying this, to read the text. Yeah. Yeah. This game was like, because, you know, it came out basically a launch game, so like, most people did not have HD TVs yet. Well, for Xbox 360, you had to support 720p. It was required. Yeah. And then you also had to support 480, but you could do it by just running 720p internally and then just letterboxing it down. Yeah. Right? Like, that was valid there. So, like, you didn't have to necessarily, like, test too much of it. Right. And if the text was unreadable, I think Microsoft's answer was... This is the HD console generation. Go get an HD TV. Yep. And then um, about the time that Mass Effect 2 came out mm -hmm. and people were complaining they still couldn't read the text, uh, Microsoft was like, okay, guys, you need to make sure that you can read text in SD. But that was the funny thing. That didn't last for very long because um, I think our 
2012 survey basically said that like 90% of our customers were using yeah. HDTV anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think by the time I got a 360, I already had like a crappy little like 20 inch HDTV that like broke two years after I bought it. <laughs> it, just, it just like fried itself one day. I turned it on and it just went like, and then it was done. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a friend who was playing this game and they had, like, they would have to get like two inches away from the screen trying, like, and you know, it was so blurry too. Yeah, it's that blurry, it's hard to read the it. Text. It was really yeah. hard to read even if, like, it was big enough. Well, CRTs were old at the time. Yeah. One, two, the text was not um, optimized to, to be readable on a CRT. There mm -hmm. are certain things you want to do, like, not make the edges completely, like, one pixel between the edge of the. You want to add some blur to the edge of the text. Right. Um, you better you better sort your way through this. Well, wait, you got one health. You better like drink okay. that smoothie. Yeah, you gotta drink this thing. It's probably, blop, 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 this thing also makes me run really fast. Oh, nice. It's quick step. Will it last through? It yes. lasts for a while. It, it's on a timer. I forget okay. how long it lasts, but this is this is the ultimate. This is like the number one thing you need for speed runs and to do like perfect runs of the game. Okay, so you already know. All right, so you know all the things that you're supposed to get in this game it's been and how to really, make it. It's been a really, really... So you don't have to learn okay. it. You don't have to learn it in-game. You can just do it. Yeah. So you here, know it. Yeah, so there's the other thing. Like, there's, uh, there's like, recipe cards you can re find everywhere that just tells you all these different recipes, like the different drinks you can put together uh -huh. in the game. But also you can just experiment and just find out what works. Um, so this game was, like... You know, when the 360 first came out, I was all about getting achievements, getting achievement <laughs> points, because I thought it was cool. And, read, and this game was like one, the, one of the first games where I, I almost got a thousand points, because this game was like it took a lot of work, but a lot of the achievements I thought were actually pretty fun to get. Thousand points. Thousand points, yeah, man. Yeah, thousand points. Microsoft uh, would not let you had to fill up a thousand points. Yeah, this game had a lot of fun ones, but there were some that were like really fucking hard or like took a lot of time to get. Uh, Beat the game in an hour. No, it wasn't stuff like that. There was okay. So in the beginning of this game, there's a part in a cutscene where the dude in the helicopter is like, "This is Will Matt. There's like fifty three thousand three hundred twenty five people here." So there's an achievement for killing exactly that many zombies in the game in one run. Okay, that takes a long ass time. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like getting books that let you drive the car better and then before you, it breaks. And then you farm. Yeah, you go to this tunnel and you just farm the zombies yeah. over and over and over. Uh, Rider of Blocks wants to know why is everybody in this game up? A bloody... Why is everybody in this bloody game a dick? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's an asshole. This dude especially, he, he appears in multiple missions throughout the game, and he's just an asshole. Um, so yeah, one of the mechanics is, you know, we're, we're carrying a camera, so you can take pictures of shit to get ah, experience points. Fantastic. Drama. Yeah. And that was something that uh, didn't appear yeah. in the later games. It's not in 2, but in... Uh, there's another... There's another version of 2 where they replace the protagonist with Frank West, and because of that, the camera picture thing com comes back. And then Dead Rising 4, which they're making right now, also has the camera mechanic back. Okay. But... I mean, it's unique to the game, right? It's yeah. It's pretty cool. But uh, 2 and 3 uh, did not have uh, the picture-taking stuff. It wasn't the zombie experience. I don't know. I'm just like putting on my game developer hat now. So yeah. Like, oh, we don't have it. Yeah. I, I really like the picture taking thing. I think it's pretty fun. And like, there's a bunch of like special photo op moments in the game and shit. Oh, like that one. It's a little off, but it still gives you like a lot of experience points. Beautiful. I need to. All right, so. Obviously, we're not at the very beginning of the game because you're not in the usual Frank West attire. Yeah, I switched so, out basically immedi immediately. We're still like, this is still like the first 45 minutes of the game we're in. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Nice job. I wasn't very good. It said perfect, and you had 200 yeah, points. And Frank you had like will a just say 5600. Frank point. will just say perfect, even when it's not that great. <laughs> Gotta wait for him to pull out his gun. So is this like a is this like a mission right here? Yeah, this is like the tutorial mission, but also it's like at the very beginning of the game when you haven't leveled up that much, it's really it's a pretty good source of experience Fantastic. points. Okay. 
Boring. Although I'm not taking the picture of the pose he wants me to take, but he's also not doing it. What's the pose that he wants to uh, I believe I have to either get him shooting his gun or doing his, like, fist pump uh, pose. Fantastic. Try a little harder, oh, old 5, timer. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. There it is. Fantastic. That's the one I think he wants me to get. Okay. Yep. You did it. There. You did it. Half the credits go to your model. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's in focus. And uh, the composition's okay, I suppose. Uh-huh. Hmm. That ain't half bad. Okay. Here comes the next one, Frankie. But first... Feast your eyes on my work. Every time I play this game, it's like, why does this guy look so much like a like a bootleg Seth Green? <laughs> like, they just look at a picture of Seth or watch Austin Powers and go like, I want that guy in my game. Well, I don't know, right? Because remember, this is like 2005 when this <laughs> yeah. game was made, so. Yeah. Yes. A lot of lot of lot of crazy interesting interesting shit was happening <laughs> in mid two thousands. I still remember we were doing things a little differently ten years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, here's the deal, Frankie. You gotta go out there and I mean, like you people were using mobiles, but they were still calling each other. That, huh? mm -hmm. Voicemail was like a thing still. <laughs> Alright, so that's a that's your parents weren't on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> skateboard. Yeah, can you ride the skateboard? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, you can. That's what you do. You use it to run into a bunch of zombies. There's like ways to like yeah do that to yeah. Yep. You always wanted to ride the skateboard around. It was like really important. Yeah. I've also got this book here I picked up that just lets if I have like tools or construction related items they last a lot longer. Gotcha. Um, that was uh that was the one thing. So like I actually never uh, played this game for more than like a couple minutes. Yeah. Because uh, my roommates would play this game, and I'd watch them play it, and then, like, I'd be like, "Hey, can I play?" And it'd be like, uh, "I'm playing." And then they would like play it for like a couple hours at a time, and then I'd yeah. go like do something else, go work on like my Quake skills or something. <laughs> <laughs> I played a lot of Quake back yeah. then, man. Like, I I didn't play that many console games, and then around the time 360 came out, people were like, "Oh, I don't want to play Quake, but I'll play Halo," and I'm like. Really? <laughs> I mean, Halo Halo is a very good FPS, in my opinion. It's yeah. just that I just didn't like playing on the controller. Oh, okay. And then at some point, I just, like, got okay at it, you know? Right. Nice. Drink two orange juices together. Like, it has a special property where uh, later on in the game, there are, like, these bees that you can get that, like, you can use to kill lots of zombies. Um, and that can like attract them or something like that. But also just two orange juices together like heals like six or seven squares of health or something like that. So it's a really good drink. It's super easy to make because right next to the blender over there, there's just yeah, always no. there's always two orange juices. It's two orange juices. Also, I should replace my gun <laughs> with another katana. Because every time you come here, there's a katana that respawns if you know where to find it. You know, during the zombie apocalypse, so that was another thing my friends would do. They'd be like, during the zombie apocalypse, and then that would be like 10 hours. Gone, <laughs> right? Like yeah, what they just would do. Theorizing. Yeah, theorizing what they would do during the zombie apocalypse. Uh -huh. But who the fuck leaves a sword around <laughs> during the zombie apocalypse? Two swords, even. Nobody just like, I'm gonna leave a sword here. Yeah. <laughs> my and then I'm gonna go over stash. here to die because I'm not the protagonist. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we would have that. They would. We would have that argument. It's like you're not the protagonist. You're dying in like ten minutes. Yeah. You're foiled like someone else, being like no, or or like you're a gruesome death to prove that like the zombies are like really really strong. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would always think of it from the movie side, right? Like that would be, that would be me. Like if if I was gonna engage in such nonsense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, okay, this is the movie. You're dead. You're hey, dead. You're dead. I'm reading my watch here. Can you slice multiple at a time, or is it always like a downward slice? No, if, if they're grouped up right, you can get several of them. Yep. Okay, good. Um, it's not like Metal Gear Rising, where you can be like... <laughs> no, it's... Yeah, it's... As long as they're in the way, you can get multiple of them. Ah, uh, you're only missing one thing of health, and you're like extra fucked up, man. Yeah, it's... Sometimes he just gets tired, and he just looks... He hobbles even more strangely. Uh, okay, I guess I will. They're asking us, who's the protagonist out of both of us in a zombie movie?
I don't, I don't know, know, man. You're like, you got more Twitter followers. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have more people helping me. Just blow the whistle and they come. <laughs> they come over to with their baseball bats and they smash zombie heads in. <laughs> um, so what's this open area, like, designed for? Just to, like, split up the levels of the mall or what? Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, the big park in the middle, but, uh, oh, new side quest. Um, I guess it is a split up a little bit. Uh, it's also giving you just a bit more of an open area so that you have, like, a reason to drive the vehicles. Okay, cause... but, I mean, driving them in the mall is pretty fun, too. Yeah, I mean, you can only get them into certain parts, okay. too. But, like, yeah, they give you this... I feel like they just gave this big open bit. So, like, when you do... Frank, Oh, uh, you're so happening? tired. Jesus uh, Christ, Frank. Use the, use the skateboard to get around faster. <laughs> there you go, see? Skateboard. Doing tricks. Skateboard's good. This is here just so you can clear the door every yeah. time. It's it's pretty fun though. This reminds <laughs> me of like a movie I saw. <laughs> I mean, it's even on the uh, the box of the the box art of this game. It says like we have no affiliation with you know George the, A. Romero. Yeah, we watched. Oh my god, we watched every George A. Romero movie. Mm -hmm. And, like, I mean, some of them would be okay. Yeah. But, like, for the most part, it was, I don't know. I, as you could tell, I'm not really big into the whole, like, ooh, it's a zombie game, let's buy it. Yeah, I'm not. So I, many people. I know, the zombie games are, like, still a really big thing. And, like, I have never been, like, into zombie games as a genre. I Dead don't know Rise why it's a genre. It's a theme. Yeah. It's not a fucking <laughs> genre. It's a theme. Uh, Dead, Rise Dead Rising is, like, the exception for me, where it's like, hell yeah, this is really fun, but I think it's just because more of what the gameplay is like. Yeah, but they don't need to be zombies. The, it could be robots. Yeah, they could be anything, really. It's not really about the zombies. It's more about... It might not be as fun if they were robots, because, like, the blood and stuff, right? Sure. Yeah. So... <laughs> this is like one of my staple weapons. I fucking love the sledgehammers. It seems like it's too slow. Now the sledgehammer is really good. Well, here's the thing. There's like Let's one say. with like a, a chainsaw that you can swing around or something, right? Oh no. Just cheering my crotch. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a chainsaw here. The chainsaw is good, but like if you get hit, you drop it. Because it's like a two-handed oh, thing. So like oh. if you get, get bitten or something, it's like, fuck, and then you drop it and then it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> The Manny is asking, if zombie isn't a genre but a theme, <laughs> is there a zombie dating sim that is also a city sim? I don't know. <laughs> dating sim is a genre. It's a, it's a type of, it's like a sub, well, it's a sub genre of, uh, what, like, what, visual novels or whatever they're called? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Hey. But then they're like, sometimes just like the dating sim only element. Yeah. So, right, right. Okay, so yeah, the gameplay element. Look, I'm stuck in this thing. So yeah, could there be a city simulator? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure if those two things go together. There was this uh, this game dev game. Do you remember? On the iPhone. Oh, and the Android. thing we were just making. Yeah, 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 you're just making games, and like you could mix like two different genres together, and then they'd be like, mm, I don't know if that's gonna be a good game, <laughs> but we'll see. And yeah. then like you got all the you got the guys that are all nines on your team anyway. Oh, <laughs> and see. it's like, oh damn, this game only shipped five million copies instead of twenty. <laughs> yeah. Let's not make that one again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I got bitten, so I immediately dropped that chainsaw and it sucks. Fuck! Get off me. Okay, well there's another one right here. This area is like really tough. It's yeah, see, it's really is narrow. And they're just a ton compared to the other areas. Like how easy that is. It's like swing, and then you can like, yeah. There's even, and even, there's a, oh, oh. there's a boss you can fight that's like a clown that juggles like miniature yeah, chainsaws. Yeah, I remember the clown. They are the best weapons in the game because you can get like, once you have a lot of inventory space, you can just like pick up like three of those mini chainsaws and pick up like three books that all count towards like extending its durability. And so then those three chainsaws will last you like the whole game. All right, so the two chainsaws strapped to a kayak paddle was that? That was the second. That game, was in. Right? That was in. Uh, Dead yeah. Rising 2. That was Damn two. it. That was in the trailer. Yeah. That was yeah. the big thing in the trailer. We were like, oh my god, there's crafting, and it made <laughs> so much sense. It made yeah. so much sense with the, with it the was, style it, of game. It was a pretty was. fun mechanic too, because it was just like, well, I have knives and boxing gloves. Can I put those together? Yep. Yep. You can. Yeah, you can. And then this, what are these guys doing? Well, I don't want to read the book. Come on. 
You just gotta bash him in with the hammer? No, I don't want to kill him. This is a guy you can rescue, but he's just, like, mad, so you just have to, like, beat him up a bunch until he comes to his senses. Well, just, like, gun him in the leg. <laughs> you know, he still has a lot of blood. Bert Thompson Oh, shit, defected. I hit him too much! Whoops! Time to kill him now! No, wait, it said he defected. No, yeah, defected means that I hit him too much, and now he just... He just wants to straight up kill me, so he's done. <laughs> Bert Thompson's dead. I can save Aaron though. Please, gotta save everyone. Yeah, the, the actual achievement for like saving everybody in a single run is incredibly difficult. Cause the thing is the, the AI for these guys isn't great. So they do dumb shit sometimes that gets them killed pretty easily. Glock, 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 glock. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was funny when you drank that milk. <laughs> the man, he says you saved the fuck out of him. I did. He doesn't have to live through this horrible nightmare of a event. Dr. Michael Opelops says that it was actually a very fun crafting mechanic. I've seen too many games with meaningless shoehorn crafting. I just even remember you making a little comment about that a couple weeks ago. It's like, we have crafted. It was like, it was like on, uh, on Kickstarter, if you wanted to get your game like a bunch of money right away, it was like, it's like Minecraft. But with, and then like replace the word like with whatever. For, for yeah. a while, there was like five years. Like, it's like Minecraft. But with zombies, and like that was working for a while. Yeah. I now, mean, now it's like it's like Minecraft, but with crafting. Even though it's like stupid because it already has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it was, like Street Fighter. I mean, I think. But with crafting. Yeah, I think it's just uh, <laughs> like when I was a uh, like 12, 13, 14, The the idea of like the survival game was really appealing to me, but like they didn't really exist yet. And that's like you know every game that's early access. There's like wait a there's second, like survival a hundred, games. Yeah, like there's like Resident a Resident Evil. Yeah, no, not like that. Uh, survival as in like I'm stranded on an island and I need to gather resources so I don't die. There was a, there was an stuff. amazing DS game like that. What was that called? A uh, Lost in Blue. Yeah, Lost in Blue. Lost, Lost in Blue. I heard one and two. Good. Uh, I need to give this guy a sledgehammer. The first one was really good. The second one, mm, it's okay. I, I never like, really the first got to, one was, The first one was fucking I never really amazing. got to play them, but I always wanted to. It was like one of the games before I had a DS. It's like, fuck, that sounds so cool. It is. It was really, oh, it was so good. <laughs> Champion Hyena says Dino System. Dino System. Uh, that's something I streamed with my girlfriend months ago. Okay, is that also one of those games? Uh, it was like a top-down survival thing where you're a caveman. There's dino dinosaurs everywhere. That was that. Sounds I good. Just, I just thought it was... It was like super early access, so like... Aaron, come on. Uh, <laughs> man, how much time until that... How much more time until that lady appears in the jewelry store? Follow me! Follow me! Come on! Come on! I don't want to leave her behind yet, too, so maybe I should... It's too bad he just doesn't say just EDF over again. <laughs> EDF! 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 They just announced EDF 5. I know. A ago, TGS. I know. A sticker over here I need to take a picture of. Wait, not of like these cool dudes right here? No, the sticker right in between them. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Probably should have zoomed in more on that. Oh well. Um, Follow me! Now we're, now we're getting people saying EDF a lot. In chat. <laughs> Uh, Fabulous Villain is mentioning very, very astutely that they won't spawn while you're in their zone. Oh, okay. Because I feel like it should be right about time for her, that lady to appear. All right, so, like, you've, you've played this game how many I've, times? How many hours have you sunk in this? Probably, like, a hundred. How many times have you... How many how many playthroughs have you done in this game? Uh, probably More only, than ten? So, the thing is, with this game, it's like... I've gotten all five endings in this game, or how many ever endings there are. I've gotten all of them once. At least five. I've gotten, so at least five. Each ending is like further and further into uh, the game. Um, oh man, a little back. But I think a lot of the extra time came from me doing attempts at getting the save everybody in one run achievement, which I never got. <laughs> and then you would be like, fuck, and you'd restart. Yeah, there's some real bad shit can happen to you out of nowhere and just be like, damn it. Aaron Aaron needs help. Aaron needs food badly. Yeah, so here's the thing. The, the AI is not... 
super smart. Fucking swing! Yeah, I gave you a sledgehammer, Aaron. Use it. <laughs> um, Aaron's never done a day as of hard work in his <laughs> life. It's like, what is this? <laughs> Just getting fucked up over there. You yeah. better save Aaron if you want to keep him around. He's He's got half health. I, I might give him food later. I can't remember if they eat the food. They fucking better. Nice. Um, All right, so what do you have to do to save her? I have to... Whoops. <laughs> talk to her a whole bunch. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that zombies can't climb over things. <laughs> yeah. She's, like, very upset that her baby has been eaten by zombies. Okay. That's a weird animation. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron! What are you doing? Aaron's probably dead. Oh, boy. Be, be very careful that I don't pop you her don't one. Pop, pop Leah it's because very she easy. die in one hit? With certain weapons are very good at instantly killing okay. your your followers. Because like if you, I get her right in the head with a sledgehammer, it doesn't matter how much health she has, she dies. <laughs> so. <laughs> and he says, hey, it's the zombie apocalypse, but hey. Oh no, Aaron's dead. <laughs> he got his dick eaten. <laughs> Bit right off, so. <laughs> well, rest in peace, Aaron. He couldn't swing anyway. So these particular survivors, I generally don't like trying to save when, because like I'm level eight right now. Okay. In this game, if you die, they're not they're not on your level. No, it's it's more like <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so if no, you, yes. If you die in this game, you either have the choice of uh, starting from your last save point. Or you can just start the game all over again, but you keep all of your stats. Uh, and there's, I feel like there's certain survivors, I'm just, it, they're a lot easier when I have a lot more stats. And these three that appear here, like trying to get all of them is pretty difficult. Like okay. if I wasn't fucking around, I probably couldn't have gotten both guys back safely. But this lady's really hard to rescue because she has like a broken ankle. So she moves really slow. Okay. If I remember correctly, I can like pick her up or, and carry her, though, which is probably what I'm gonna have to do. So you do the downward swing every time. Yeah, like if you press and hold, that lets you do the sweep. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the comments. They said he blew it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's the, I don't know like, if that's the correct term. I cannot sure. jump with her, so I have to tell her like, hey, come here, okay. go right there, climb up over that thing. And then you can pick her up. And then I'll I'll pick her up, and then we'll we'll try to get out of yeah. here. You can you can uh, Yoda you can Yoda her out of here. <laughs> yeah. Go Skywalker. So like. First jump. Whoa, oh. that was close. <laughs> you have to like learn. You have to get good at like threading the needle with the zombie crowds a lot. And it's kind of scary. Analog control is very good in this game, right? Yeah. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Will she not come with you? No, she will. It's just she's really slow. I just want to keep going. Okay. Okay. Uh. Those load times, though. Oh, wait. No, that's right. When you come through the door, she's not on your back again. Yes. So there's goofy, like, clunky little things like this in this game that you just learn to deal with. And it's like... Uh, fabulous villain sounds like he might be a little bit of a pro at this. He says carrying people fucks up oh, your Oh, makes you ungrabbable. That's you right. Ungrabbable. That's right. I forgot about that. That was like... It's an animation problem. They're just like, yeah, well, how, do we, how do we grab somebody when they've got them? Just what do we don't. do? Is that, no, no. That's just not. Oh, fuck. Here we go. So this is one of the most infamous, infamous parts of Dead Rising 1. Once it becomes like around this time, close to nighttime or evening on the first day, these convicts show up. They are a boss fight. They're on a jeep with like a military grade like mounted gun on it. I'm sure you get to steal it. And it has infinite ammo because video games. Uh, I think you can actually just rip the gun off the, the jeep, <laughs> but it, it, does, it doesn't have infinite ammo. It has, it's like, like Halo, right? It's it has, Halo physics. <laughs> it has like 500 <laughs> shots in it or something. Uh, everybody's quoting the lyrics from the song. These convicts have like their own song. And these motherfuckers are really hard. People die over and over and over to these dudes. Okay, they are and, a, and you gotta save Leah too. Yeah, they're in a Jeep, they can drive really fast, and they can shoot at you in a big wide open space with a lot, not a lot of cover. These dudes are really hard, and like several of the strategies to beating them is like, get them stuck on trees and shoot them in the face <laughs> before they can do anything. <laughs> 
It can be a little easy to avoid them. Also, there's another survivor. She's from the cutscene. I'm gonna see if I can help her maybe, but this is probably gonna go really bad. So I notice that you're saving the survivors. You don't have to do that. You, you can do let not every... have to. Um, but what's the bonus to saving these people? They, it's a lot of experience points, and also some of them like unlock things for you. Okay. Uh, Sophie, get back here. Sophie. All right, there we go. Can I talk to her? No, I have to put her down and then talk to her. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Leah, you left Leah behind. Okay. And Leah's gonna try oh, to. Oh, gee, keep she's like me. walking like she's drunk. Oh, she, she's just going. She's just going. Sophie, hey. Come on. Okay, she is okay, joined. Good. Joined, good. That uh, was a very. 12,000, oh wow, okay. Here, I'm, oh that's right, this is a lady you can hold hands with to, to drag her around. Fuck. Can't you just hit the button and tell her to go? Yeah, you, I can't remember what her thing is. No, yeah, she'll just go too. Yeah. I think you can make her go even faster than oh, oh God. Fuck. Oh God, I forgot. Fuck, no, this sucks. <laughs> this is very bad, I don't want to hold hands. I want to pick up the lady who's about to get shot in the face. Give him weapons. <laughs> it's not gonna help in this instance. All right. Is this is this just like run from the boss? Cause fuck it. You can just avoid them, a bunch. But yeah, but like, you want they that machine just... gun. The machine gun's good, but like the thing is, it's a big, heavy, like double-handed, two-handed weapon. So like, you you make it sound like two-handed weapons are really bad in this game. Well, there's certain ones that they count as like two-handed and they can't fit. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh god. They can't fit in your inventory either. So if you want to switch items, you have to drop it. Okay, now it's nighttime and shit is gonna get even worse. Wait, why? What? Oh, because the zombies. The get zombies bigger. get super powered when it's nighttime. Okay. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. So yeah, like I'm like level nine now, and that's still pretty low level for fighting the Jeep guys. Oh my god! Imagine if Capcom made an upside down mall. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like the mall is designed so you got, that like you you got to get two hundred and ten percent completion or whatever. Yeah, all, all the map squares. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, and you just like when you Cynthia, get outside, you just you just have to climb on the grass. Yeah, like, nice. handlebars. So good. <laughs> and that's the thing. You didn't even play it until like. Not I didn't even play it ago. until last year. Like I never played more than like the first thirty minutes of it before. I can't like, believe shit, that. That was an awesome. I gave you game. my copy, didn't I? You did. Yeah, you let me borrow your copy. Yeah. It was like, okay, I hope she's close enough to the door that it counts that she went through with me. Yes, yes. good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm actually trying to remember. I, this is the part where I have like I haven't played it long enough. It's like, wait, which way is the the door that like takes you back to the safe house? It's like a. It's okay. It's over there. So it's by the shoe place and the camera place. Come on. The dial dude says if you tap X over and over with the gun, Frank auto locks on the zombie head. He does. That part's really good. Inside. That part's awesome. Okay, is she? Is she gonna be able to make it? Let's see. Let's see what she, what happens here. She's gonna get grabbed. She's gonna get grabbed. You can't. Get oh grabbed. shit. Well, wait. Not anymore. Well, uh, Sophie, get out of there. Sophie. Sophie. I can't jump. Oh. Yo, yo, whoa. Shit. Thank you, Sophie. Oh dang. Or Leia. Okay, she's getting hit now. Okay, cool. Just get, get I'm, fucking I'm just, shit. I'm just, I'm just glad that they didn't make the NPCs like completely useless. And it's like, oh, I have a broken leg, and it's like, okay, well, I mean, it's yeah, they can, they can do stuff. Okay, it's just good. they're not super helpful. If you get, if you can manage to get some guns. Damn it! I'm oh, about to die now too. NPCs with guns are good. NPCs with guns are good because they have like they're, they're a lot of. Out. They have a lot of lock on, and also they have infinite ammo. Okay. When you give them guns, so it's. Okay, Sophie's there. This is going. It's it's. We're recovering a little here. <laughs> this, I can just see like one of them being like, "Whoops!" Yeah, I'm and trying very hard work. to not accidentally decapitate one of my survivors here. Okay, All right. Sophie, get up. Damn it! God, these ledges are fucking me up so <laughs> hard. So just get solid ground. Sophie. Leah. Sophie. <laughs> Go over here! Well, at least you can take a picture of them dying and you'll get some experience. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I will get drama and I think violence <laughs> or something like that. Sophie! Get your ass over here! She's drowning. She's drowning in zombies. You gotta help her out. Yeah. If I don't get my junk bitten off or something. Holy shit. Okay, I have to be very delicate here with my sledgehammer. Why don't you just, hammer. like, punch him? 
Punching is not very powerful. Okay. Not until you level up a shit ton at least. Sophie, you better like take her hand and run her because like. Oh no, Sophie, please. <laughs> no! She's on the steps, so you can't get up. It's not her fault though. The game did it to you too. Just grab her hand. Can you just grab her right there? Just like no. wake her up. Oh shit. Oh, that was oh, close. Oh god. Oh god. That was very What close. are you doing? <laughs> this is the worst place for her an AI character to be. Take my fucking hand! They said you can't herd cats. <laughs> I can't go up ledges while holding her hand, but like, just... Leah just went down there. You just take a picture of them both dying. Oh, fucking shit. She did? You can grab her right now. R too late. Too late. You hesitated. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this plant is in the fucking way! <laughs> See, this is what I mean by things can go really bad really quick in go, this game. Go, 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 go. Sometimes the AI is just, uh, it fucks you a little. <laughs> okay, if I can get them to the, the warehouse, like, we're basically home free. Yeah, except she's got, like, one hit left. <laughs> she could probably get smacked, like, two more times before she's, like, completely doomed. Okay, okay. Okay, the, whoa, the camera place... The police man, don't you fucking do it! Don't you run right into his arms! Okay. Alright. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, something's happening here too. What is it? <gasps> oh, right. <laughs> this is where the bees are. <laughs> Zombie bees. Makes them real crazy. So yeah, the bees are an item that you can you can find, and if you like capture them and you like kill the bee, it just what makes the like the thirty zombies all around you just have their heads immediately blow uh, up. It's really useful. Like the the orange juice plus orange juice drink I made is like has like the nectar property on it. So I think if you drink it, it makes it a lot more likely that. Uh, Queen bees will appear. Gotcha. Or it, it, it like attracts uh, the infected zombies that have the bees in their brains. Okay. Uh, yeah. What happened to your? They're they're just down the hallway. Okay. Oh. That because that, that cutscene happened, it teleported me there. I see. Oh jeez, they could have died anyway. Oh man. Oh man. Sophie, get out. Just follow me. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I honestly like was able to get Sophie all the way here. Like, really early ru game runs for me always end up with her getting killed by the Jeep dudes. Oh jeez. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, I guess that's what happens after you play the game ten times or so. Yeah. And you're like it's restart, been... restart. Oh, there's a queen. You just can't grab it. Okay, I got there it. You go. Okay. Now, if I remember it doesn't correctly, hold the jar up. It doesn't go. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> I'm gonna have them go back over here because if I remember correctly. There will be zombies in the elevator sometimes. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. Get in here. She looks like a zombie. Yeah, like, she, she I, moves like How one. many times have you, like, when you first start off, like, we accidentally swing, it's like, oh, zombie, oh, yeah, shit. There was one time I saw her move, and I was like, oh, that's a zombie, and then I hit her over the head with uh, <laughs> my sledgehammer. Whoops. And then she was dead. That's Go. no bueno. No. Get up on the ledge. Zombies that pawed the air around their heads likely have a bee. Yep. Okay, I saved them. All right, so how many XPs do you get for this? Let's see. <laughs> 44,000. Wow. Okay. So that's basically a free level up. And I got an extra inventory space, which is All right, really so important. What do you, so what do you do now that you've leveled up in this game? Yeah. Oh, let me switch my clothes first. Uh, so when you level up, like, like you have all these stats, and like each, like you don't get skill points. It's just like at each level a specific thing happens. 
Uh, so you so don't like, get to you don't get to distribute. Right. It's just like at level nine or level ten, my attack goes up one point or whatever. And okay. Sometimes you get more skills. All right. So that's that's how they kept the scope down on this. They kept it linear. The yeah. progression linear. The progression is compl- yeah totally linear. So I have like a jump kick, can kick in the air, I can ride on top of zombies. Uh, I have that ability. So like if zombies grab me, I can throw them off real quick. All right. What's max level? How long does it take to get there? Uh, max level is fifty. Uh, if you're going. If you do a couple playthroughs, you know, you die, you start from the beginning again, and you get to, like, the final true ending, you'll probably be close to level 50. Okay. Probably around, like, So once you once you go something. through your, your new game plus, you, you will hit 50. Yeah. Uh, here's what I want. I want two coffee creamers. What happens when you put two coffee creamers in the coffee machine? You get... That's the, the drink I had earlier that made me run really fast. Gotcha. You get, you get the quick step uh, drink. I'm just gonna sleep with my sledgehammer. Oh, dude, saving is still oh, like the old school. Way actually, too. I'm I'm completely wrong. MGN001 says the level progression random except for one or two levels. Maybe some of the stuff is random. Actually, I think the stats might be and the skills might be locked like specific levels or something. Okay. But. All right. Okay. Like the people you save, they, they end up over here. All these lockers, like the the costumes in them, were like originally like. All right. Free DLC costumes they doled out over a couple months or nice. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back then when people were like, DLC, what do we do with this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, and yeah, the other thing too is like, the reason why you wanted to get the achievements in this game was because a lot of the achievements were actually tied to in game unlockables. So, like, one of the really hard, the achievement for killing, like, 50,000-some zombies unlocked uh, the Mega Buster, so you got Mega Man's arm. Yeah, I remember that, And it was, like, an infinite ammo gun that did a shit ton of damage with, like, a huge explosion radius. Yes, I remember that, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I don't have enough room for another queen. Yeah. So Mr. Wong says uh, he feels bad because he, he's, he forgot we were actually streaming this week because there was no stream last week. Uh, no stream last week because there was, you had streamed over 30 streamed hours of over stuff. I streamed over 30 hours of stuff, and I was very tired. And, <laughs> and there was actually some stuff tying up our, our streaming equipment on yeah. Thursday, so we couldn't actually stream. Like, it, would, it was electronically impossible. Yeah. Let's just say that. Definitely. Place recharge my camera batteries. I think so. My camera battery is fine. Oh, there we go. You can only take like so many pictures before you have to recharge your camera's batteries. Oh, really? Jeez. Yeah, it's okay. like. I but think, there's a camera store, so you're good. Yeah, you can take like 30 pictures or something like that. And That's annoying. Like, they didn't make you. I mean, it's probably good that they didn't make you be like, oh, now you have to get film rolls too. Oh yeah, it's right because this was like that kind of that transitional period before everybody went digital. Yeah. Like around yep. 05 a lot of photographers were still shooting a lot of film. Mm-hmm. It was starting to, to dwindle really fast. I think the first digital SLR that was worth a damn was like 2001. Yeah. And it cost like 10 grand or something stupid. Mm-hmm. I think it was Canon 5D. Gonna put some kids clothes on. <laughs> there we go, that's a good outfit. Nice. This is how you know you're playing an adult game. <laughs> yep. Whoops! Whoa. That's okay. <laughs> nice recovery. So yeah, I got, I got this jump kick. Uh, eventually you get some Street Fighter moves, like the really, yeah, high, the really yeah. high level melee attacks you get are like some of the back flips and like leg drops from some of the Street Fighter characters. Oh, awesome. Pretty cool. So, uh, the so, Sir Bot heads are over here. <laughs> yeah, now you gotta put on one of those and you're good to go. Yep. Does it have a stat on it at all? Nah, it's just... Uh, Nice. I, I thought could, you could wear one though. You can. You, there's another. There's a wearable one. Face me, please. Oh okay. really? If it's not facing you? No. If he faces me, I take a picture. Then it's like Good. outtake, like humor picture. <laughs> okay. The um. They're talking about Dead Rising Four. What do you know about Dead Rising Four? I didn't even know that there was a four that was announced. Are they uh, just talking like, oh, well, they're going to make another one? Dead Rising 4 uh, is, uh, you play as Frank West again, you go back to this town from the first game, and now it's like you're back in the mall, but also like the surrounding city during Christmas time or something. All right, new setting. You got the picture stuff again. Um, I don't know too many other details. Like, they've shown some gameplay footage. They've had a couple trailers, I think. Okay. Have they announced a date? 
I, for four? I don't think there's a date. Okay. Because uh, it was announced like this E3. I see. So they they were just like, hey guys. Yeah. I mean, hey, they've probably hey, been working. They've probably been working on it a long time because I mean, Dead Rising Three came out in 2013. Yeah. Launch. So, um, they showed like some of the cool like weapons and stuff. There's like a, a military grade like oh, powered armor suit you can put on. You can like rip rebar out of the ground. Like the concrete on top of it is still stuck to it, so you swing around like a huge bat and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's all I really know. I heard somebody saying that, like, they're putting in regenerating health and stuff, and I don't agree with that. I feel, I don't know. Hey, like, man. But hey, I, man. This ain't your grandpa's. <laughs> <laughs> Old man, what's this one? That's the thing, though. Games, they have to change over time, right? Audience expectations of what a yeah. video game has changes. I mean, imagine first-person shooters before Iron Sights. Like, yeah, totally. Like, I understand why they're there, and I don't personally like them, because I like playing with mouse and keyboard, but, mm-hmm. you know, almost every game has to have them now. Yeah. It's almost weird when a game doesn't have them. Yeah. Oh, God, I forgot this sound. This The music was still playing, because the, the Jeep guys are still here. <laughs> this is 2000s as fuck. I know, this song rules. Oh, there's a bag of chips over there. This song is hilarious, and oh fuck, get out of there, get out of there, please, do not shoot me. I just want to get to the other side. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> no. Oh man, see these guys, fuck, this is why they're awful. Oh man. Quick, drink, drink some coffee creamer. Damn it. Like, once they get on you, like, it's it's really hard to get the from them. Hit the button. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Felt like a combination between Limp Bizkit and uh, Mike Shinoda. <laughs> <laughs> um, the remix that never happened. <laughs> and then someone will tell me, uh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Let's see some wine. Uh, is there a blender here? Or is it just the microwave? Wine and microwave? What could go wrong? <laughs> yep, put some wine in there. No, I actually I can't do that. Uh, but yeah, on top of like blending drinks, you can also cook food. Uh, if there's a, there's like two or three places where you can actually cook the food. I think the restaurants over here have blenders though. <laughs> all right so like the the i can see like the fun in this game is is learning all the intricacies of it yeah and then executing them properly because like i bet the first playthrough is just like a fucking travesty oh yeah like you're gonna die and it's like honestly probably better to just like start all over with your stats yeah because then you can start learning the beginning areas more and like there's easy opportunities for experience points that'll like let you level up a little faster. Gotcha. Oh, two wines is also a quick step. That's nice. Um, I'll just chug some milk right now. <laughs> nice. Like, all the animations and stuff in this game are also great. So how do you take off the helmet, or are you stuck with it? Uh, you have to find another clothing. You have to find different clothes and just put those on instead. Okay. And like his hat, his serve bot head just pops right off. Um, but yeah, serve bot head. I'm betting there's people in this chat that do not know what Mega Man Legends is, and that makes me sad because I no, love Mega Man there are some people be like, this makes me want to play Mega Man Legends. Yeah, I mean they're probably the regulars. Okay. But I, Mega Man Legends is really good. Yeah. I know. There will never be a third. Oh well. What do you mean there will never be a third? They, they were making the third game. I know, they were they making the third game and it canceled, canceled it. What do you mean there are never going to be a third? Never say never. Eh, well, I guess... I guess we Capcom's are still making games. Yeah, they are. They are. There is going to be a new Mega Man cartoon, so they're not entirely out of Mega exactly, Man. Exactly, right? Like, um, Legends, Mega Man Legends, the third. Or they just <laughs> the won't call it three. They'll just call it something new, right? Yeah. It'll be Final Fantasy... <laughs> It'll be like Final Fantasy. Everybody will have cool anime hair. Yep. They'll ride around in a car. Uh huh. They'll have like some emotional issues only to deal with. Fifty-hour story. 
It'll cost them over $200 million to make. <laughs> It'll have a larger budget than any game that I'm aware of. Well, no, because I guess technically the three Destiny games have a $500 million budget that, yeah. they've, that they've claimed up front. Where are these clothes? A dress. Yeah, but your head didn't pop off. I think maybe it's like you have to find another hat thing or something. I know there's a Dang, way... Frank's really getting into it. Yeah, he gets way into when you put the dresses on and stuff. <laughs> I don't. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Frank, don't be so angry. <laughs> it looks good on you, man. <laughs> okay, there's people in the bookstore back on the other Mega side. Mega Man Legends 2 Versus. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Mega Man Legends 2 Versus. <laughs> so you don't like the women's clothing store? Okay. <laughs> it's not Frank's style. Now he's way more into wearing children's clothing, which is... <laughs> Uh, hmm. Okay, Frank. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, oh, wait, that's just. Yeah, but no, it's story. got a tactical. It's got a tactical reason for it. If he's in the <laughs> kill children's clothes. There's less for them to grab on. <laughs> that's true, actually. And 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 if Dress they manage get... to grab onto anything, yeah, it's like really cheap stuff, so it'll rip right off. Yeah. So you can escape. Meanwhile, the dress for could, a dress could get caught on stuff that is, isn't even a zombie. Isn't that so. like a zombie movie trope where it's like there's some lady in like a business dress trying to run away and like like a heel snaps or like yeah. her dress coat gets caught on something. Yeah. You know? Or it's like the business man where it's like, oh, my tie's stuck in the door. Now I get <laughs> to die. Yeah. Because I'm a nine to fiver. <laughs> <laughs> the... Artemis Archvile says, Alex, you've been reading the zombie survival guide. No, I have not read it, but all my friends read it. They, <laughs> they tried to get me to read it so hardcore, and I was like, nah. Yeah, I had some friends nah. that were reading that thing, too, and I was like, no. Nah. Sorry. I just never got into the whole, like, there, there's all That's those the dudes. That's the thing, I'm into like, good games, not into, like, zombies. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know, there's always those, those people that just get, like, really into the idea of, like, what if there was the real zombie apocalypse? Sure. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah! I'd shoot him in the face! And it's like... Come on, man. No. They're telling me that I'm getting too much into the zombie conversations. I had a lot of them. Yeah. About ten years ago. Dr. Barnaby. Sir. More than I needed to have. <laughs> No, but this game is this game is good. I wish I wish that I would have actually went back and yeah. played it. It's now. only twenty bucks. I know, but like I know it's the time. So it's like the time now, because like yeah. last back then, I think two thousand five. I was probably playing Warcraft three. It's probably playing a lot of Warcraft three. Yeah. I would jump between like RTS and FPS. Like those were the games that I would sink a bunch of my time into. And then if there was an awesome single player game, I would play that. Yeah. And I think the awesome single player games for me were like Time Crisis. At, around this time, um, because we we got all the gun con games for like re really cheap on PlayStation Two, so we were playing. I was playing all those, and then it was um, usually our friends would get together. We would play out like the the Nintendo party games. Like we'd get we get smashed, right? And play like <laughs> all all of them. Like it it got it got kind of bad there for a while because it was like oh we'll just keep drinking till we lose. Right. That <laughs> might be a bad thing. We we started we start we started switching to Everclear so that we could actually get to bed before two o'clock. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it was easy to be like it was it was too well, easy yeah. to be good at Mario Party. Yeah, no totally. There's, like after certain points, like I know how to do the minigame. Yeah, like there, there's a meta to the minigame. Like there's a little still bit enough randomness that you might get screwed up every once in a while, but like for the most yeah. part it's like, I know how to do this. I know how to do skateboard scamper. <laughs> They're freaking out right now about what I just said. About switching to Everclear. Everclear. Yeah, no, we would do Everclear and Orange Soda. <laughs> It was oh fucking. God. It was fucking amazing. The man he says, "I think Alex died, and he hasn't realized it yet." <laughs> <laughs> is there a bathroom in here? It's a safe point. Oh, there totally is. Shit. Okay. I thought you knew everything about this game. Oh, I've damn, forgotten dude. a lot. <laughs> Who loves orange soda? <laughs> I used to drink a lot of orange soda Me as too. long as there was vodka. 
or equivalent in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that works. No. That's five after five. Nah. Just found a save point. Guess nah. we should. Nah. Nah. It's up to you, man. I you. got some other stuff I need to do too soon, so. Oh, yeah, you're really busy right now with yeah. all, all the work stuff. <laughs> Working on a video game. Yeah, I know. Working on a video game. Working on a video game is, is tough, guys. Especially when you're in production and there's like, you gotta have all this stuff done before certain dates. Yeah. Because your work being done is useful for the game yeah, other, being good. <laughs> that, and it's like, you know, you got the work, and it's like, other people need this work so that they can do their work in that order specifically. So it's like, you know. I mean, saying Alex playing Mario Party with the V-Men. No, this was, uh, this was uh, a while back with my roommates before Volition. Mm. So I've been here eight years, but like ten years ago, you know, that would have been before yeah. this. Another side quest. Oh no, it's just Otis going like, you're in the food court, eat some food. Tell you about the blenders. <laughs> Fabulous villain says everybody's the biggest jerk playing Mario Party. It brings out the evil within. It no, does. No, no, it doesn't. No? It doesn't just bring out <laughs> the evil within. Because after it's all said and done, you can just shake hands and everything's okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Hold on. Hold on. Mike's saying something. He's, he's saying something about Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> What's Mike saying in the chat? Well, he, he was saying that I got I got a little rowdy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, we played at his, play, at his place was, last was year. Was it Mario Party 8? Which, 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 which it was one whatever the, the Wii U. No, it wasn't. No, was we, it the mic one? I no, it was the Wii U one. We didn't play the one with the mic. No, we definitely played the one because I remember there is, you know, there's a thing we have to guess oh, like which fruit yeah. it is, and you were like strawberries. Like you know, yeah, well, when yeah, else yeah, yeah. So something. the mic, the mic game. All right, I'm gonna reveal. I don't know if I should tell them my meta because <laughs> it like the first like you come with the new group of people, they get really fucked. Okay, so we played this game way too much. Uh -huh. The Mario Party Eight with the microphone. There, were, there was a, a board that would have a strawberry and an apple and a banana. Yeah. And you would hit the button on the mic, say strawberry, and then like a second and a half later, the strawberry tiles would fall down. Right. Well, anybody who's worth their salt at playing video games never gets caught up from that because it takes too fucking long for it to go. A second and a half, it's like an eternity in a video game. Yeah. Because you just like, bloop, you can move immediately, like <laughs> when you hear the straw, and like you're just like moving right away. Right. So, what you do is you go, Strawberry, and then you hit the button and whisper, apple. <laughs> and hopefully, they go, they start moving, like, what the fuck, right? Because then the apple drop falls down. They're, <laughs> they're not expecting that. Right. Another one you can do is you can fucking confuse them by just, like, you don't even know what you're saying. You're just saying it all, all together, like, strawberry, apple, berry, strawberry, apple, banana. Right. And then let go of the button, and then it's just like, it fucking picks one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then you can also you can also psych him out and be like strawberry and like never hit the button <laughs> and then like everybody freaks out and it's like apple and then like they're not doing it and then like you can like you can you can you can fake them out right see that's what made that game fun is because like you came up with your own you came up with your own meta <laughs> just around the fact that like a lot of stuff was shitty about it <laughs> <laughs> Mike's saying it was Mario Party 7 <laughs> Yeah, that was the micro. That was the microphone one. <laughs> I love that when you have to rescue these two dudes, like they only speak in Japanese, and so like they just like run away from from you because they think you're crazy. But then you just like pick up a book. It's like how to talk Japanese, and then you can just talk to them perfectly fine. That's funny. It's but only when I'm holding the book. The instant I drop this book, I cannot speak to them. You're in the manga store, right? Yeah, I'm in the manga store. Yep. God. Buying some JoJo's. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, that's what I'm literally doing in real life. <laughs> reading some JoJo's. It's a fucking good comic. Excuse me, manga. Thanks. Oh, oh, I missed the picture. Oh, that sucks. No. I missed the photo op. Anyways, that's Dead Rising. It's pretty rad. Yeah. You eventually get a move. A move. 20 bucks on Steam right now? 20 bucks on Steam and on PS4 and Xbox One, I believe. Oh, jeez. On all of them, yeah. Apparently it runs fine in the consoles too. Like apparently, I would imagine it with the graphics and stuff. It is. But yeah, like, I guess it. You know, it doesn't. It's not always stable sixty, but like it's like dips that are really hard to notice and stuff. 
Gotcha. So, um, <laughs> the, uh... No, uh, oh wait, all, all the people telling you spoilers, don't read the chat, they're telling you JoJo spoilers right uh, now. Oh no, JoJo spoilers. Okay, I just, fi- I'm in the middle of volume one of Battle Tendency. That's the part where they just started introducing the Nazis. All right, it's sure, pretty good. sure, sure. There's a part where there's a, a, a corrupt cop that's going to shoot the protagonist, but he, the dude's so cool. He's, he, was, he has, like, a Coke bottle with him because it's, like, the 1930s or whatever, and, like, he doesn't even do anything when this guy's about to shoot him. Instead, he just, like, uses his, like, magic powers to, like, shake the, the soda bottle so fast that he flicks the bottle cap off, and it's such high velocity that it just breaks the dude's fucking finger. Sure. It, like, chops his finger right off his sure, hand. It's, it's anime. It's like, any, anything's possible. <laughs> anything is possible anime. Anything is possible in anime. <laughs> <laughs> that part's pretty rad. I don't know. The whole thing's pretty rad. It's the part where a dude jumps with his knees because he's too lazy, but he's so strong. He just, like, sits on his knees and he he's just He's been goes, tra- training in the gravity he, he, like, chamber? He, he basically crouch jumps everywhere. That's his thing. He's he just, crouch jumps. He's crouch jump. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are Volition. We stream every week on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, 2 Pacific, 22 BST, I believe. I haven't had to say it for a week, so I'm losing it. Oh, this is gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Uh... <laughs> I'm Josh Stinson, streams r slash associate video editor. And I'm Alexander Mejia, the video producer here. And we had Mike Watson, community developer, monitoring the chat. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. I don't know if you've watched JoJo, Mike. Maybe you have. Uh, but anyways, we'll be back next week with something else. I don't know what yet, but whatever it is, it'll be cool, I promise. What, you mean this wasn't cool? No, well, something else is, that is also cool. Say, there you go. Thank you. Something else that is also cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know the exact scale, but it'll probably be at least equal. I hope. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Yep. Thank we'll you. See you later. See ya.